Okay, we're down to the final Archon hunt. <laughs> the final of the the three that they've talked about, which is like um, Nira, Boreal, Amar. But then they have also said previously in like dev streams and stuff that there will be a fourth one. There will be a fourth one, and that fourth one is going to be, you know, Pazul, obviously. So I'm gonna guess that that's what we're gonna see the week after this. It's not gonna roll back to Boreal, it's gonna be Pazul. Or maybe they'll save Pazul for a later date. Maybe that one won't show up as often. What do I know? But that's the idea anyway, that it's gonna show up. So we're gonna do the same thing we did uh, last time. I'm gonna see how uh, it works if we can just avoid all of the damage attenuation. Because I I got some tips from viewers saying that like I should have been able to basically one shot the Archon, but since I was running in a group, uh, my my teammates started shooting the thing, and because my teammates started to shoot the thing, then uh, um, then uh, the damage attenuation had like already sort of started. Um, so we're gonna find Void Strike here, perfect. So we're gonna use this. Eh. So we can do the Void Strike. I'm gonna try to pop Nira before the damage attenuation can get going. So Kuva Heck, lots and lots of multi-shot, lots of crit, lots of radiation damage, and Void Strike. Now I could do the same thing I did last time and use Rhino with Roar. Yeah, why not? Why not? Let's go all in on this. Yeah. And then we obviously have to, you know... Eh. Have a good looking heck. Everything has to look right. Uh, everything has to look right. Sorry about this, people. But this is of the utmost importance. Everything has to look right. Okay, there. Now we can do this. So we're gonna use Roar, we're gonna use Void Strike, and we're gonna pop the Archon in the face before it can collect any damage attenuation whatsoever. And if everything works the way it should, uh, then uh, then that, that, that could be a one-shot. Could be. We'll see. And of course, we want to fire with uh, all four barrels at the same time. That is also a thing uh, which makes the Kuva Heck in particular ideal for this task. Okay. We got Naira. So we're gonna activate Roar. You found her. Stay Roar. Unmoved. Those eyes can kill. Void strike. And... Yeah! No, I... Oh, maybe I missed. Hmm. Oh, no, look at that! I just went to the second phase of the fight. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's a one-shot. That is absolutely a one-shot. Oh, I love it. Cool! Well, you know what? You know what? It's nice to know that this method absolutely works. Uh, th that's fun. That's fun. So, we're gonna try to do that for phase two as well. That's gonna be Roar, Void Strike, and then the Alt Fire on the Kuva Heck. Uh, to make sure that we fire with all four barrels at the same time. And that's both deacons. Here we go. Ooh, cool. All right. First, I gotta defeat your summons, yeah. Good, and good. So, Roar is active. 
Just gotta find Naira. She's up there. Just gotta wait for her to come down. And Void Strike. And... And miss. Damn it. Alright, reset, try again. So I have to wait for the damage attenuation to wear off, actually. So, 40 seconds. Two seconds. Where did she go? She's up there. Okay. Gotta wait for it. Gotta wait for her to come down. Void strike. Ah. Not enough. Wonder why it worked on the first attempt, but not the second one. Is it my uh, pet? Is it that, like, it's shooting viral quills on her, and that's triggering the damage attenuation? Maybe. Maybe I should unequip uh, my companion. Hmm. Requires further testing. Alright, so do I have my Void Strike again? Yes. Yes, I do. Let's see if we can bait her over here. I don't know. Yes, I could. Void strike. Roar. Shoot. No. Doesn't want to work this time. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So it must be something that has like already triggered her damage attenuation. Whatever it is. It might be my my Panzer Valpophyla that's doing it. I don't know. It has developed immunity to your attacks. Try something different. There we go. Void strike and pop. This time it worked. So I don't know. It's not like I haven't been able to figure out 100% uh, uh, when I can trigger it and when I can't. Uh, I do think it could have been the Panzer Valpophyla that was messing things up for me. Uh, because you really have to get all the damage in, in one hit, uh, before, uh, any damage attenuation has been activated. Um, so yeah, not a one shot, but I guess a, a four shot? <laughs> a four shot. Took four hits. First one was successful, second and third unsuccessful, fourth one worked. And then you just delete the Archon in one hit. Uh, yeah, that, that works. And the entire Archon fight in like 11 minutes, which is like super fast. And that's solo. Obviously, like, it, it could have been even faster than in a group. I just, I just kind of wanted to test myself and see if I could do it solo and if this method works. And yes. Yes, it absolutely does. Which is nice. And the Amber Archon Shard. We can check what that one does. We can check what that one does. Amber Archon Shard can give uh, more enemy uh, or more energy on spawn, uh, more effectiveness of health orbs, effectiveness of energy orbs. Wow, casting speed and parkour velocity. Now, obviously, casting speed is super juicy. There are certain Warframes that really, really, really want more casting speed, and if you can get this without having to waste a mod on it, that would be fantastic. And uh, if you're just doing speed farming, and then parkour velocity is obviously nice if you can just put <laughs> five of these into your vault <laughs> or whatever. Um, 
this is another method of just like just energy economy which is great now maximum energy on spawn is probably the least useful one and the reason for that is because of a trick uh, something that most people don't know about but you should know about it and that is if you um, Excellent armaments uh, if you make your build and you have excess capacity uh, that means you will actually spawn with uh, more energy. I think it's like something like 10 or 20 energy per excess capacity or something. So, for example, uh, with my Equinox, uh, I have made sure that I have excess capacity. Lots of it. So, I don't even need to have every single slot here uh, for mud for this to work. But I have two Umbra Forma in this, just so can I, that I can have a bunch of excess capacity. And that means I start the mission with more energy. Which is just a nice, it's just a, a quality of life sort of thing. Um, woof! But that was it. That was the, uh, the, the Nira boss fight. And just testing to see if my... Uh, uh, one-shot methods from the previous uh, boss fight actually works uh, as well as I thought it would. And it does. So, cool. Cool. You, we, yes, you can one-shot Archons. <laughs> it's, it's tricky, and the Archon fights are still hard, and I don't recommend you playing them solo. Uh, because if you die, you die. Uh, so it's nice to be able to have uh, squad mates who can revive you, because... Um, you have no self revives in these, thinking, but um, you want to know. if you want to go for for um, uh, for big cool guy points and you want to solo them, then th this is absolutely a method. Uh, Kuva heck, <laughs> void strike, yeah. All right, that's the video. I will see you guys again tomorrow, as always, for something completely different.